Hello, my name is Liz and I head the Neuro Department at Nirvana Health. I'm here to teach you more about QEEG and brain mapping and how we use them in our practice to help individuals with chronic health conditions find a lasting way to feel better. We use QEEG and brain mapping to identify the root cause of your health challenges so you have less pain, more freedom, and a better life. The term QEEG is a quantified EEG, or electroencephalograph. Whew! What a mouthful, right? Let me break it down for you. An EEG is a special scan of the brain, assessing its electrical impulses using 19 sensors placed on the scalp. Those electrical impulses are how our brain communicates with itself, as well as the rest of the body. The term quantified is a fancy way to describe a data analysis of the information gathered during that scan. The data generated is often called a brain map because it looks like a literal map of the brain. A QEG is in fact a brain map. They are one in the same, and the terms are often used interchangeably. From this point forward, when I refer to a brain map report, I'm also talking about the QEEG, but we will keep it simple by just referring to it as a brain map. The brain map spits out a report that serves as an objective snapshot of your brain function at a given time. We're able to determine how the brain is communicating to and from distinct brain regions while showing any disruptions in those pathways. These disruptions help us link brain function to any number of symptoms, whether they are physical, mental, or emotional in nature. We can identify the relative and absolute power of the specific frequencies our brain uses to function throughout the day showing us where resources are being under or overused. At Nirvana Health, brain mapping is pivotal in directing our treatment approaches, acting as a north star to identify what may be underlying your presenting symptoms. A brain map is needed before any treatment can be administered to determine exactly what needs to be addressed. Think of it like this. After an accident such as a fall, an x-ray is completed to determine if surgery is needed to repair a broken bone. Would you feel comfortable going into surgery without first having an x-ray to determine if that surgery is even needed? The brain map is like the x-ray completed before the surgery. We need to see what we were dealing with before a course of action can be administered. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy this video. 